Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this very simple quest where we have to shoot these targets and if we accidentally shoot the red target it will fail our quest. But to succeed the quest you need to shoot five green targets and I'll show you that now. Oh my god I got a rebound. <laughs> so there you guys have it. That is the quest we're going to be making today and uh, let's go ahead and make it with narrative. So to get started you want to come to narrativetools.io and then click on download narrative. And we're going to be using the trial, which is completely free. Go ahead and click download. And simply enter your email address. Don't worry, we do not send you any advertising or anything like that. And then simply click on continue. Once you've done that, you'll be able to click the download button to download the narrative plugin. Now that I've unzipped the folder, I have this folder called narrative trial. Open that up and inside there's a folder called narrative. All you need to do is simply just copy it and then paste it into your engines plugins folder. Um, for most people, this will be located at C, Program Files, Epic Games, UE 4.22, Engine, Plugins. Inside of the Epic Games Launcher, I'm going to go ahead and launch Unreal Engine 4.22. And when the Unreal Project Browser opens up, I'm just going to make a Blueprint Project, although you could do C++ if you want. And then you're going to go ahead and we'll just go with a First Person Project. And I'm going to call this My First Quest. And then click on Create Project. So with our project open, simply go to edit, plugins, and you'll see that narrative will appear. Go ahead and enable narrative. And then it will ask you to restart and go ahead and click on restart now. So our project is back open and we'll know narrative is installed. You'll be able to right click and you'll see narrative. So let's go ahead and set up narrative. The first thing we need to do is go to blueprint class and make a player controller. By default, the project template thing doesn't come with a player controller. So just make one. And then go to first person game mode and where it says player controller just select that new one we made now we're going to make our very first quest with narrative so go ahead and make a quest here and i'm going to call this target practice the whole point of this quest is we just have to shoot some targets so at the start of the quest the player is going to be here and the player can move through the quest by doing tasks so let's drag out and add some tasks At the start of the quest, there's really only two things the player can do. They can either shoot a green target or shoot a red target. So we're going to say that if the player shoots three green targets, they succeed the quest. And if they shoot one red target, they fail the quest. So basically, we're just adding two options, two things the player could possibly do. So we're going to go here and go to the drop down here and we'll create a new quest action. These are actions that can be done in quests. And once you've made a few of them, you really don't need to make many more. Um, but we're just going to call this one shoot target and then click on save You can see it will select shoot target and it's asking for the targets name So I'm going to call this one red target And I'm going to do the same thing down here and when it asks me for the name of the target I'm just going to say green target So we can either shoot the red target or the green target Narrative will automatically fill this out for you. Like if I add a task here and I click on new quest action and I call it talk to character, you can see it's going to ask me for the character's name. Narrative wants to know what character do we need to talk to. So that's how the action system works. In this case, we're saying, hey, shoot a target and narrative wants to know what target are we shooting here? So if we shoot a red target, we fail the quest. And if we shoot a green target, we're going to succeed the quest. And I'm just going to fill these out here. So we click on this one. I'm just going to say quest failed for the name. You need to give all of your states names. And then for the description, I'm just going to say I accidentally shot the red target. Quest failed. And down here, I'll say quest complete. I hit three green targets. Quest complete. And we'll add a description here for the shoot red target. I'm going to say shoot a red target. And for this one, I'm going to say shoot three green targets. So to tell narrative, we need to do this three times. Simply just set the quantity to be three. And now it'll do this action three times, basically. Um, and then where it says this is the start of my quest, I'm just going to say it's time for target practice. I need to hit three green targets. 
So now we have a really basic quest. Here we are at the start of the quest, and depending on what one of these we do, we can either fail or succeed the quest. So now we've designed our quest, and we simply need to script it. And scripting the quest is going to be super, super simple to do. So to script the quest, we're going to come down here, make a new blueprint class, actor, and I'm going to call this BP underscore target. I'm going to open the target up. I'm going to add a variable called target name. And I'll just make that a string. And then we'll just make these targets spheres. So where it says add component, click on sphere. And that's pretty much it. Where it says target name, you'll also want to click on this I here. And so we'll click on the sphere and we'll go to on component hit. And when the sphere is hit, we're going to get the narrative component. And then we're going to say complete quest action. Note that everything we're doing here, by the way, can also be done from C++ if you want. So we'll click on shoot target. And now it wants to know what's the name of the target. And we made a variable for that. So I'm just going to hold control, drag that in, connect it up. And I'll also destroy the targets after they've been shot. So now our targets are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and drag some targets into the level. And I'll just select this one here. And I'm just going to copy and paste a few of these targets. So now we have four targets in the level. So I'll click on this target and um, it's going to ask me for the target name. So I'm going to say red target. And then I'm going to select these targets. And for the target name, I'm going to say these are green targets. So green target, and this one's called the red target. And what I'll also do is I'll come down here to where the sphere is and click on it. And then for the material, I'm going to give it a green material. I've got show engine content on. I'm just going to click on basic asset. And that one needs to be red. And these ones need to be green. Okay, so we've made our targets now. They're just sitting there ready to go. And we simply just need to start our quest now. So to begin a quest, we're going to open up BPPC. And narrative does come with some UI. So let's go ahead and use that because why not? So we'll just go ahead and create a widget. Narrative demo widget. We're going to promote that to a variable. And I'll just call that UI. And then we'll add that to the viewport. And we're going to add a component, narrative, hold control, drag that in, and now just click on begin quest. And narrative wants to know what quest are we starting. We're starting the target practice quest. And now when I jump into the game, you can see it starts the target practice quest. So let's go ahead and play our quest. So we need to shoot three green targets. So you can see it's coming up, shoot three green targets, one out of three. When I uh, shoot the next one, you can see it says 2 out of 3. And finally, when I shoot the last one, you can see that I'll complete the objective. As you can see, objective completed. And now it's telling my quest has succeeded. So in narrative, we have a few steps. We first design our quest. We then script our quest. And then finally, we can play the quest. Um, let's go ahead and, and try to fail this quest this time. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot the red target this time. And you can see that's failed my quest. So the quest plays exactly like we designed it to in the game. How cool is that? And it's really easy for designers to modify the quest. Like, for example, if you want to open this quest up and change this to be shoot five green targets, all you need to do is change these values, make a couple more of these targets, and now you can see the quest is completely updated. Now we need to shoot five targets instead. So it's really easy for designers to come in and change how the quest plays out. Um, so yeah, you could, you could go ahead and make these targets move around if you want, but since this is a very basic example, I'm not going to do that. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's been our first quest with narrative. And in the next video, we're just going to build on that and make a little bit more of a complex quest than just target practice. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.